Welcome back to Fan's Learning Center. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert decimals into a percentage. This is a really simple trick for you to learn. My first question is 0 0.32. This is my decimal, which I'm going to be converting to a percentage. We know this is a decimal because it has a point, decimal point, just after the zero. In order to convert decimals into percentages, we need to times them by 100. So 0 0.32 times by 100. The trick I'm going to show you now is the powers of 100 of zeros. So how many zeros do we have? 1, 2. As we have two zeros, we will be moving the decimal towards our right two times. 0 0.32 times by 100 means we are making the number 0 0.32 hundred times bigger. So let's write the number 0 0.32. My decimal is just here. I am going to turn, I am going to move my decimal towards the right two times as I have two zeros. One, two. Now my zero is at the end which shows me that I have a whole number. My answer looks like this. And my, my decimal, I can put it in and take it out whenever I want to. I'll be, I would like to take it out because we don't need it anymore. My answer is 32. 0 0.32 times by 100 equals 32. So my percentage is now 32%. Right, my next example is 0 0.68. We will be converting 0 0.68 into a percentage. In order to convert 0 0.68 into a percentage, we know that we need to times it by 100. Let's write down the sum. 0.68 times by 100. Okay, now I'm going to write the number 0 0.78 so that I can move the decimals forward. Okay, now I'm going to look at how many zeros do I have in the number 100. I have two zeros. So I will be moving my decimal point two times towards my right. One, two. So my zero, my decimal point is at the end now. Then this is how it's going to be written now. 68. Again, my decimal point here can can be visible or I can just let it go. So at the moment I have shown you that's where my decimal is visible and now I would like to take it away because we don't need it as we have a whole number. We don't have anything coming after the decimal. So our answer is 68. 0 0.68 times by 100 gives us 68. I hope this video has helped. Thank you for watching Fat Learning Centre.